The job market is very competitive. People who want to progress their career need to stand out from the crowd. Usually, the first thing a potential employer sees is a CV or a resume. This is a job seeker's opportunity to advertise experience and skills and also to show an employer their character or personality. So, what do the experts say about writing the perfect CV or resume? This is Esther. She is a 19-year-old student. She is applying for internships to gain experience in the business world. James Kahn is an entrepreneur who founded a successful recruitment business. He has agreed to help Esther. I think one of the biggest problems, I think, when you're young, is everybody says, but you've got no experience, how do you add any value? Yeah. I think what you've got to be able to do is present yourself for somebody who can walk in and make a difference now. But James doesn't think that Esther is selling herself well with her CV. Esther needs to sort out her CV. Simon Dolan is a very straight-talking entrepreneur. Esther goes straight to Simon's office. The first thing Simon notices on Esther's resume is a spelling mistake. What's the main thing that strikes you on here? So if we've got this second line down, have a look there. Oh, that word. What is it? Intermediate. If you can't spell that right, what hope have I got of employing you and expecting you to get your first few emails that go through the door to a client? The next key point is staying focused in what you say on the CV or resume. I don't really care about the fact that you enjoy socializing with your friends, you go to the gym. What I care about is how you're going to help me run my business better. Expressing personality is a key to getting employed. Companies look for so-called soft skills like commitment, flexibility, and imagination, as well as hard skills like knowledge and diplomas. Next stop for Esther is a careers coach who can help her get that kind of soft information across. John Lees has read thousands of CVs and resumes and knows all the mistakes. I saw a CV where the candidate listed under interests, I enjoy eating pizza. It's not impressive. The next challenge is how to stand out from the competition. Graduate CVs make the same mistakes over and over again. They use cliched language. So everyone says, I'm a team player, I'm a self-starter, I'm highly motivated. And if you use the same language as everyone else, all that shows is that you are exactly the same as every other candidate. Esther has taken all the advice and presents her reworked CV back to Simon. I would very much appreciate the opportunity of an interview to find out more about the role and to demonstrate how I believe I can be of value to your company. Perfect. That's better than 99.9% .9 of CVs that we get in. You would definitely, definitely, definitely get an interview, here or anywhere. Really good job. Two weeks later, Esther's new CV has already had an effect. She has an interview for an internship. It has gone well. I thought Esther came across as very well prepared for the role and I'd certainly be recommending her to my partners for a second interview here. Getting a job is a job in itself. You just got to get out there and make it happen.